Good morning. I'm in the kitchen of the Kyoto Hana Hostel. Just to catch up. Last night, I found my cousin at the Hyatt Regency with his wife and his wife's family. Today, I'm going to head back over to the Hyatt, look for them. They have uh, booked a private tour of Kyoto. That should be really fun. I'm crashing it, obviously. This gate is super fascinating. The top layer, that's 50 layers of cypress bark. And cypress bark takes 80 years to grow that amount of bark. So it's very rare. And you can see two cranes. One has an open mouth and one has a closed mouth, which is like a symbol of the beginning and the end. Much like how in yoga you would say om, and that that represents the beginning and the end. And then there's a dragon and a tiger, and then both of those come from Chinese influence. This was built to replace Osaka Castle, because they wanted to get rid of Osaka Castle, but they didn't. But they moved everything here, and that's why this is so much more ornate. Like the gate here is more ornate, because they took it from that castle. This is where the Shogun lived. Shogun, they were not the emperors, but they had all the power. But they couldn't live with the, the, the palace because they weren't the emperor, right? Yeah. So our guide just told us that the rocks in this garden come from all parts of Japan because when the different people came here, they would bring the rocks as gifts for this garden. We couldn't take pictures inside, but what that is is on the inside, when you walk around, you hear this squeaky sound. And that was for security. And that was to keep, you know, intruders out, or they, they'd give warning to the people that someone was walking around there. And they were ninjas. Like super ninjas. We are feeding here. Right so they are bending machine to get a cup food. Ah. We feed them. As they know, they just open the mouth. Almost uh, 90 years ago, some time on the We're now at the Golden Shrine. It's gold, it truly is gold. And there are loads of people here, so everyone's trying to get their picture of the Golden okay. Shrine back. Out of all of you. Our super cool tour guide told us that the gold leaf on the outside of this building, there, there are more than 200,000 of them, and each leaf measures 10.8 centimeters. Now usually they're 10 centimeters squared. These are 10.8 squared and the reason for that is 108 is a very special number in Buddhism. Uh, for example, the prayer beads that you'll see monks wear, they always have 108 beads. And there, there's, a, I'm sure, a mystical reason for that. That's why these particular leaves are a little bit bigger. And then at the top, yeah, there's a phoenix, which was a great symbol of power at the time. This was created at the first time in and although uh, there was a fire and it fell in disrepair, and then they redid it in 1955, and then I guess they renovated it again in 1987. <laughs> We have to go up the stairs. I see. In those days, we didn't have a. They too much clay. Perfect. I mean, no one can make this. Because we are human beings.
From everywhere we cannot sell all of like this. Maybe from here you can see this one. Then maybe this one. From here, 13. The other side you can see these two, but you cannot see this one. Yeah, but uh, someone says the uh, layout of this one like a star. Cassiope in the sky. Or well, someone said like a Chinese character. Oh, Shin. Shin, yes. And maybe more than 10,000 different ways and the sun is coming. I think every answer is right. Almost 20 years ago, some man came to this temple. He came to Kyoto to commit suicide. Finance a problem. He almost gave up his life. But when he was here, he was thinking why he could not sell 15. Until then, he thought he did his best. But he understood he did not yet. He wanted to try again. And this guy can save his life. 20 minutes, even beginner, 20 minutes cannot do. Cannot hold. Yeah. But I often move. In that case, a monkey is coming with the hard stick. <laughs> Stretch and a deep, deep, take a deep breath once. Face is not only gentle face. Someone, sometimes this is the most gentle face for kids. You are poor, you have very good intelligence, you are rich. Even if you are rich, you don't have any intelligence, you are very poor. Study hard, do not do too much. But even if you are rich? Rich. You oh. don't have any intelligence. Intelligence. You are very poor. Mm. Study hard. Don't want too much. We're still at the temple with the rock garden and now we're stopping for lunch at a vegetarian place. It's so exciting. And apparently they do a lot of veg and tofu. So we're now at Kyo Mizu Dera, which is the Kyo Mizu Temple. It's built 16 years older than Kyoto. And our tour guide says that the babies that you see running around in kimonos here are actually tourists who've rented the kimonos, but it's a great effect. So what are those shoes about? The guide said that long ago there was a man who was blind and he wore those heavy shoes and carried that heavy stick up and down the temple to regain sight. Apparently he went up and down and up and down until he did, but there is a theory that the point between his toes pressed by the iron shoes uh, was an acupuncture point to help him regain sight. No one knows. The way it 
words is there are three uh, flows of water and one is for good thinking, one is for good fortune and one is for good health. So people take sips of it uh, to acquire those qualities. I'm back at the train station. I'm catching a bullet train back to Okayama. I say goodbye to Steve and Winnie and Winnie's parents. I have to work tomorrow, so I didn't want to stay too long and risk not getting back in time for a good night's sleep. 